More than a million people here, including many who have homes, earn too little to provide basic necessities. The federal poverty rate for a family of four is $23,000, but New Jersey families find they need just over 61000 to survive. They are Alice families, defined by the United Way as asset-limited, income-constrained, employed and still chasing the dream. Michael Hill recently spoke with its North Jersey CEO, John Franklin. John, the country went through a tough time economically. There's been some recovery. How has the recovery impacted New Jersey families? Well, if we look back to the Great Recession, uh, a number of people suffered not just because of the increase in the number of our Alice population that we're going to talk about, but the cost of living for them has been devastating. And how have they managed to manage all this? What do they do to get by? Well, I think that's the, the crux of the conversation here. If you look at the Alice population, that's the asset limited, income constrained, employed population, those people not making enough but working, they run up credit card debt, they drive a car that's not safe, they live in substandard housing, they make a choice between do I pay the heating bill or do I feed my kids? And what kind of money are we talking about? What kind of salaries do they, what kind of money do they make a year? For a family of four, you need 60000 bucks a year in New Jersey. Um, if you look at the federal poverty guidelines, $23,500 a year for a family of four. So the Alice population you're talking about makes how much? Uh, between 25000 bucks a year and 60000 bucks a year. The Assembly Speaker, Vincent Prieto, was talking about on January 27th convening four legislative committees to address this specific thing that you're talking about. Your thoughts on that? Hallelujah. I mean, we have some data that I think will enlighten that conversation. We hope that will be the standard of data for that conversation because it broadens. It gets beyond the 200% of the population, 200% of the poverty level to more specific data so we can understand county by county, town by town, what it costs to live and what people are making in those communities. So it's more precise data. What do you expect to come out of this legislative committee, this legislative effort, four committees meeting on the 27th to address this? Well, I hope we'll have a good conversation and change the tone of the conversation, change the mindset of folks. You know, on the way over here, we were approached on our car by two homeless folks. That's what people think of when you think of poverty. They don't think of that family where both people are working, each making 15 bucks an hour and can't make it. And how many households in New Jersey we're talking about who would fit the definition of Alice? 850,000 roughly. How can that be? In a, yes, in a wealthy state, yes. I think the cost of living here, the cost of taxes, everything that, that makes it expensive to live here means that you have to earn more money. And when the jobs don't pay more money, you end up with 850,000 families, households that can't afford to live here. But John, would you describe the things that they do to manage this situation and improve it would put them worse off? Yes. And that's why it's, this is not just an issue about Alice. This is an issue for all of us. Alice is trying to realize the American dream. And if she can't pay the heating bill, if she can't feed her kids, the dream is lost. And if it's lost for Alice, it's going to be lost for all of us. I know the Assembly Speaker is holding these legislative sessions, but in general, do people who set policies and make policies and make law in a place like New Jersey, do they get this? As long as we say that the poverty level is $23,500 a year for a family of four, I don't see how they can get it. But with the Realis report that we've done, it lays out very specific data, county by county, that will help people understand that, indeed, we have a problem. They will understand that our kids coming out of college, our parents living on Social Security, the people taking care of our people, our, our families in the nursing home, our kids in child care, all of those people are Alice, people we need. Nobody understands that yet, but we're going to. And these are the people who, for the most part, the kind of money you're talking about that they make every year, they make barely enough to take care of their necessities or, or barely? Barely enough, yeah. And if you look at the statistics, the way we laid them out, with the money they earn, help from Social Security or help from the hospital or other nonprofits or TANF, any of those this helps, they still don't have enough. And what you'll find is there's about a 34% gap in what they need just to survive. All right. John, we'll have to leave it there. Let's hope that there's some progress on this issue. John Franklin, CEO of United Way of Northern New Jersey. Thank, Thank you. you very much.
tomorrow on NJTV News. Atlantic City's mayor and council accept diminished responsibility in return for greater financial stability, and lawmakers work to move people out of poverty. I'm Mary Alice Williams. For all the men and women of NJTV News, we'll see you tomorrow. New Jersey manufacturers, auto insurance, and more for New Jersey Business and Industry Association members and their employees. PSENG, serving customers, strengthening the business community, and investing in New Jersey's future. And the members of the New Jersey Education Association, making public schools great for every child. Camden students face a lot of challenges but they meet them with determination and drive. Teachers like Ms. Harris make me feel like I'm part of a team, not just on a basketball court, but in a classroom. Chanel is not just a star athlete, she is a star student. I'm headed to Clemson University, where I can combine my love of sports and learning, and maybe even win a championship. I wouldn't bet against her or any of my students reaching for their dreams. Chris Christie's done it. A garden class has had a surprising called New Jersey.